Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, anyway, I did these stamped tissues the other day on a Periscope broadcast that you haven't seen on YouTube. I didn't save it to post to YouTube. And um, I've although I've done stamped tissue papers before with Tim Holtz stamps, the blueprint ones, um, Hint, hint, Tim, or anybody from Ranger. I've said this before. You need to do some Tim Holtz tissue paper that's just the blueprint stamps. Just the blue, just for me, because I want some. <laughs> anyway, um, I love his blueprint stamps, and when I first got them, it gave me the idea to do my own custom stamp tissue paper to use for collage in my mixed media journals and pieces. And um, then it dawned on me the other day, Oh, what a ding dong. You have your own line of stamps. You should stamp some of them on tissue paper and be using them in some of your collage. Hello. So I did this on YouTube and one of my crafty creative friends saw it in a social media post last night and said, I need some of that tissue paper. Do you sell it in your Etsy shop? No, <laughs> but I sell you some if you want some. So that whole conversation prompted the idea of me coming on YouTube and maybe showing you guys how I did this. Again, again, there's an older video on my channel about stamping tissue paper. I'll try to find it and put the link in the description below, so look for it. Um, this, of course, today is my line of doodle stamps, which are in my Etsy shop, which again, that link is in the description below. And I'll show you how I did this. You could do this with any stamps, but we're using mine. Now, the, this is just... Hold on, I'm gonna move some of these out of the way. Okay, so this is just plain white tissue paper and this happens to be white tissue from the dollar store. So you can get big bundles of it for a dollar. The sheets aren't very big. They're about 16 and a half this way by about 24 inches. I cut them in half, so they're about 12 by 16. Um, you only wanna do one layer at a time. <clears throat> now this tissue has a shiny side and a dull side. So I'm going to stamp on the dull side because it's more absorbent. And that way when you're gluing them, you're gluing on the shiny side. So that'll help prevent some of the ink running if you're not using waterproof ink. Uh, it won't prevent it completely, so you should really use waterproof ink. Um, but also, it's a little easier to stamp on this side than the shiny side. I'm using waterproof ink. I'm using Stazon and I'm using archival ink. So I have archival pads in black and sepia. I have a lot of stays on ink and I didn't use purple in the last batch, but I pulled it out for this batch. So I've got royal purple, cactus green, fuchsia pink, blazing red, which I also didn't use when I did it last time, but I thought it and the pink might be cute on a sheet with um, just hearts on it. And then teal blue. And then of course I've got my line of um, doodle stamps. Um, I've got all of them. Now these are wood mount. They are available in cling mount. Um, sold one design at a time. Or you can get the sets of the stamps unmounted. They come in packages like this. An unmounted sheet of rubber and you get nine designs in this set. Um, this is the f a more affordable way to get them. It's $25 and then you just need a sheet of easy mount foam um, to attach the rubber to and then that will um, create a cling stamp. Then you just need to cut them out. Um, again, I have a video on how to do that. I did it with Pally Patty Tolly Parish's um, stamps and it's already on my YouTube channel so search for that. If I can remember, I'll link it to the description below but you know if I forget, somebody put a comment and you guys remind me. All right, and so then all that I did, we'll start with the feather one and we'll just do it in black. So this is my feather design, the number one selling design of all of them. And then it's just a matter of stamping it on the tissue and creating a custom design on the tissue paper with the stamp of your choice. And to come up with a unique design. And you fill up the whole sheet. And you can 
something like this. Yeah? And then that's great to use all of or tear parts of it off and use it in your collage. So I am going to fast through, forward through creating some of these sheets and I'll be right back.
Okay, so here is a bunch of different tissues I made using my stamp designs and the inks I showed you. And it is not about creating perfect images or a perfect design. These are going to be torn up and used for collage um, backgrounds. And so you you know you want the impression you want a good a decent impression of the stamp, but if it's not perfect, that's okay. You're only going to be tearing, you know, using a small piece or section. So, I just started stamping with colors I like. So now, with these that I created today, and the ones I created the other day, now I have, I like this one a lot. I might have to keep that one. Um, I have enough to choose from to send my friend Eileen McKinnis some sheets. I promised her I would. So, Eileen. So I am going to do that and I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with some tissue and some ink and some rubber stamps. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all of my information is in the description below, including where you can buy my stamps in my Etsy shop. The link for that should be in the description below. Also the link to my Facebook group is down there. So please take some time and read that, I know it's kind of long. And you can always comment on the video and let me know if you have anything that you want to ask me if you have any suggestions for video or anything like that and uh, yeah let me know all right don't forget to go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it all right I'll see you all later bye